Huawei has launched Nova 3i quite a while ago and I've been testing this smartphone from last two months. So do I like it or does it worth a video, especially after two months when Xiaomi has launched its own Poco F1 and Huawei's own sub brand Honor has launched several smartphones in the same price range. Let's find out. But before that, intro. Much like any other smartphone under budget, the unboxing experience was quite meh, but addition of silicon cover was quite surprising. So with that, now let's start with the build and the design of the smartphone. At the top, we have a notch, a big one. Below that, there is an earpiece with a tiny multicolor notification LED, 24 megapixel camera along with a secondary 2 megapixel camera and the usual set of sensors. Down below the screen, there is a small bezel with no Huawei branding. Well, at the back, we have two cameras with flash. Aside from that, we have a fingerprint scanner and a Huawei branding at the bottom left corner. Well, talking about ports, Nova 3i has a volume rocker and the power button on the right side, hybrid dual SIM slot on the left, secondary microphone on the top, the 3.5mm audio jack, micro USB port, primary microphone and the loudspeaker grill on the bottom. Now to the display. The Nova 3i comes with a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus LCD 2.0 curved glass display with a resolution of 1080 into 2340 pixels a pixel density of 409 ppi with a notch of course numbers and terms apart the display is really good and has a good viewing angle and legibility in sunlight is quite good as well and if you don't like notches company also offers a software toggle in which it darkens the surrounding areas giving you a full plane no notch display not just that, the software also offers you a smart resolution feature that automatically lowers down the screen resolution to help save power. Jumping to the cameras, the Nova 3i has a 16 megapixel rear camera with a 5p lens with f2.2 aperture along with a 2 megapixel secondary camera with f2.2 aperture for portrait modes. At the front, there is 24 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture along with a 2 megapixel secondary camera with f2.2 aperture for portrait selfies. Yes, you heard it right. It has quad cameras but you know what it doesn't define the quality of image produced from these cameras the images from the phone are good pretty good however the portrait modes are sometimes slightly overdone but it still works the macro shots are fine but really hard to focus and night shots are decent with a lot of noise in it Overall, a good package. Much like the rear cameras, the front cameras performs really well as well. Coming to the video, the phone can record 1080p videos at 60 frames per second, giving out a good video quality with crisp audio. But not everything is blue in the smartphone. It lacks 4K video recording, which is not widely appreciated. Now there are more on the camera features, which I cannot cover in a single video. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making a separate video on the same on the camera features of the smartphone. But meanwhile, what you can do is you can go on my Instagram and can check out photos I've been clicking from the smartphone from last two months. And if you like what you see here or what I do, give it a follow and let me know. All right, now let's talk about the performance. The phone is powered by Huawei's own Kirin 710 processor coupled with Mali G51 MP4 GPU paired with 4 gigs of RAM. But you know, these are numbers on paper. But in a real world situation, the performance was smooth and snappy, but I've occasionally faced lags or if not hiccups. But you know, Huawei, if you're listening, please do something about it. Well, that said, the Nova 3i could run graphic intensive games like PUBG or Asphalt 9 thanks to the GPU Turbo technology. But I feel the Qualcomm counterpart Snapdragon 660 does better than this chipset. But hey, these are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Well, overall, the Nova 3i is a good performing smartphone. Now to the software and UI features. The phone has Google's treble support and runs on Android 8.1 Oreo with EMUI 8.2 on top of it, which offers a ton of nifty features that usual ROMs miss. Speaking of storage, out of 128 gig, you get to use approximately 112 gig and out of 4 gigs of RAM, you get to use approximately 3.65 GB. Apart from the usual utility apps, Google apps, the phone comes with Instagram, Facebook and several other games pre-installed but the best part is you can uninstall them. The Nova 3i comes with a fingerprint sensor on the back which works really well. Not just that, it's 2018 so there is a face unlock. To unlock your phone quickly for me, it did the job. Speaking of battery, the 3i packs in 3340mAh battery and can last whole day even with heavy usage. Now downside of this is that 
It doesn't support fast charging and comes with micro USB, no type C. So with all claims, features, pros and cons, what I could say is Huawei Nova 3i is just another smartphone with good display, attractive design, great performance and amazing cameras at a price tag of $29.99. Now it's up to you guys what you want to go for. Just to let you know, Xiaomi Poco F1 and Honor Play lands on the same pricing of this smartphone. But if you're like me and want a good camera over performance, then you won't go wrong with this one for sure. If you want an in-depth review of this smartphone, it's on our blog, link in the description and card above. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful and if you did, you know what to do. Like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. And do follow us on all social media, links again in the description below and I've been scrolling in the lower third for a while now. Until the next one, this has been Atish from Tech Dipper signing off. Thanks for watching.